Munich manufacturer BMW has prepared for its customers a special treat in the form of presentation days on the Bruno circuit. The biggest Czech event by the German make introduced the second generation of the successful S1000RR Superbike and brought more than 10 of these trial bikes to the racetrack. We are here to the new S1000RR. We are here to present the new S1000RR. We have got 12 trial bikes here and everyone can have a test drive. We could not have asked for better weather and we are looking forward to this great event. Testing the innovative superbike by BMW was the main topic of this two-day event. But the participant package also included free rides on one's own motorbike. The Bavarian company has proved that it is not afraid of direct comparison with competitors and allowed owners of all makes to take part in the event. The registration for the racing circuit was not limited in terms of category, but for obvious reasons the event featured mainly bikes classed as super sport and naked. RR Days is an international event. The convenient location of the Brno circuit attracted many riders from neighbouring Austria, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary and Romania. The limit of participants was reached and the test bikes was busy all the time. The participants were riding for the whole day with just one hour lunch break. Everyone could have five rides of 25 minutes a day with one of them with a reserved trial bike. Dividing riders into four performance categories ensured a smooth run of the event. The riders visiting the Masaryk circuit for the first time were aided by the instructors who knew the best track. Uh, to tell the truth, this is the, the very first uh, such a big event which we organize uh, together with all Central European countries from uh, Poland to Slovenia, Romania, uh, including Austria. And we are really very happy that uh, we have luck with the weather. So the sun is shining, the track is uh, perfect. And uh, uh, maybe in the future, uh, we do another uh, event like this and uh, for the first event we have chosen this uh, Bruno Autodromo racetrack which is really world famous racetrack and also in the region everyone knows what it is about World Superbike and, and MotoGP so I see the riders faces that everybody is excited and uh, that's why we do it and also of course, we give, uh, give the possibility to the uh, riders to try our uh, new S1000RR, not only to ride on their own bikes, but also to try uh, the new BMW Super Sport bike. The more competitive riders could borrow a transponder and compare their results with the other racers. Comparing the times on their own motorbike and on the BMW S1000RR Superbike has also produced many interesting facts to curious riders. The participants could also come close to the real racers on the circuit. They could have a few words in the pits with some of the motorcycle celebrities and surely appreciate the helpful approach of Michael Feeler, who has been successfully representing at the World Endurance Championships with this BMW motorcycle. One of his recent major achievements is the second place in the world in the Super Stock Class 2011. What does he think about the new S1000RR model? The 2012 year is certainly stronger than the 2011. It performs a bit better in gears 5 or 6. The bike is noticeably shorter and you can control it better on the technical passages. On the other hand, it may seem that it is not stable on the long straights. It rolls a bit, but this can certainly be solved by lengthening the chain and adjusting the chassis. In any case, I think it is a step forward. Emotions and motorbikes go together. An emotional day means a day on the racetrack where the customers can test the motorbike in extreme situations. We hope they will not exceed the limit, that all the customers will enjoy it here and that they will appreciate the advantages and qualities of this product which they can try for themselves. The circuit presentation days have also demonstrated the thorough and faultless organisation on the part of the German make BMW. The high quality S1000RR Superbike showed the riders on the Bruno racetrack that entering the world of circuit racing with this machine is a dream come true.
and what changes to the new S1000RR model are being planned. The, the aim of the new double R of the facelift was to get the rider better feeling for the, for the front. That was the, that was the main aim and that, that was the reason why we, we changed uh, the design of the frame. We make a new the, the position, the pivot of the swing arm, we move it 4 mm higher and we, we make the rear damper 4 mm uh, shorter. And here the, the front part we change it, that was one of the main aim that, that you had a better feeling for, for, the, for the grip, a better feeling for the front, this was one important point. The next was then uh, for the ABS. We changed uh, the ABS, that ABS is uh, working better, even better as the previous one. And uh, from the traction control, we adapted the traction control, we make new application for the new frame and for new adjustment of them. And also from the spring and the suspension, we tried to make it a little bit wider to range from, from soft on the racetrack. This was the main issue. On the engine side, uh, we have in the previous one, we have four different uh, uh, throttle response curves and now we have just two, one for the rain and the other one is for the sport, race and slick. So it's much easier for the rider to understand what he is doing here and what's happening on the rear. And uh, we also increase a little bit the, the power in the rain mode. We go from 150 to 160. So now it's uh, the rain mode is also, if you race on the racetrack with uh, rain tires, it's more faster. This was one of the of the big, big issues. Also, we have a new feature. We have the, the heating grips. We are the first super sport bike with heating grips. And it's really awesome because in cold time, you have your normal gloves and you have warm hands. Then uh, the next, uh, we have a new function in the dashboard. We call them best lap in progress. Best lap in progress is the green light. We show you on the racetrack if you are faster as your fastest lap. If you're fast racing your fastest lap, then you have the green light. And so on, you directly know if you're fast or not. Also, we have here in, on the back, we have on the back the data logger. With the data logger, with the GPS, you, are, you can ride on the track. Then you go to your computer, put the stick in the computer, and then you have directly all information. You know if the ABS is working, traction control is working, what is your leaning angle, how many times you have shift. Upshift, downshift, was this the braking pressure you run? You know everything. You can go with Google Earth directly, take the racetrack of Bruno with your line, and then you can look, okay, so there's the right line or the perfect line. And then also we, we change the design of the of the rear, we make it much slimmer, slimmer. It's now not so wide, it's closer. Then we have new colors, and also we change uh, the design of the right and the left fairing. This was also one issue. Then we reduce the weight of the bike around about uh, three kilos. So the, that's all the stuff which we put, build in the bike. And in the end, uh, it's for the rider. The bike has it's more responsible. The, the rider knows really the limit. He can feel the limit, and the traction control is uh, now more let you ride uh, safer and faster on the track, also on the road. A perfect day full of circuit riding was definitely an unforgettable experience for all visitors. Our R days 2012. We are happy to, that we could enjoy together with our customers two days on this wonderful trek here in Bruno presenting our new S1000RR to them and for them to ride this wonderful bike on this beautiful track. BMW Motorrad Austria and BMW Motorrad Central East Europe organized this event together with our partner IB Racing. And we are happy that this for the first time occasion um, everything went so well and we are grateful to our partner and we would really pleased to do this again maybe in the near future and to present again our products to our customers on either here this wonderful scenery in Brno or any other racetrack in Europe. Thank you very much. <laughs>